Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? The hour has come for the College of New Jersey commencement ceremony to begin. The College of New Jersey Wind Ensemble and Concert Band will now fill our homes with music, celebrating our graduates, including the familiar strains of pomp and circumstance. Leading the processional this afternoon, we welcome 2019-2020 Student Government President Patricia Koo. Patty is followed by the students of the School of the Arts and Communication, led by their dean, Dr. Maurice Hall, and graduate, Stephanie Rodriguez.
the School of Business. Led by their dean, Dr. Bojana Levin, and graduate London Morse. The School of Education, led by their Dean, Dr. Suzanne McCotter, and graduate, Melissa Weiss. The School of Engineering, led by their dean, Dr. Stephen Schreiner, and graduate Adam Vicente.
the School of Humanities and Social Sciences, led by their Dean, Dr. Jane Wong, and graduate Sarah Voorhees. The School of Nursing, Health and Exercise Science, led by their dean, Dr. Carol Kenner, and graduate Giselle Castro. The School of Science, led by their Dean Dr. Jeffrey Osborne and graduate Shannon Picklow.
the Department of Graduate Studies, led by Vice Provost and Dean of Graduate Studies, Dr. Tim Clydesdale and Graduate Maribel Garcia Gonzalez. We now welcome the College of New Jersey faculty and faculty emeritus. To conclude our processional is the President's Platform Party led by Grand Marshal Dr. Matthew Bender and the TCNJ Army ROTC Color Guard. Good afternoon. I'm Suzanne Suzani, Chair of the Board of Trustees of the College of New Jersey. I hereby call the 2020 Commencement Ceremony to order. It is an honor and a pleasure to welcome you to today's commencement exercises, which celebrate the achievements of the graduates as they join the ranks of our distinguished alumni. Throughout your time at TCNJ, you've worked hard, overcome challenges, and this semester have been tested as no class before you. While all of us would have preferred to be gathered together today on the campus, celebrating in person, this tradition is no less meaningful. This commencement, this rite of passage, cannot be taken from you. You've earned it. And no matter the mode of delivery, I encourage you to relish this moment and celebrate your accomplishments. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I offer the graduates heartfelt congratulations on their exceptional achievements and extraordinary promise. At this time, I present to you Dr. Matthew Bender, Professor of History and Grand Marshal. Thank you, Ms. Fazzani. We will begin our program today with the singing of the National Anthem, led by Brianna Carson, a member of the Class of 2020, accompanied by the TCNJ Wind Ensemble and Concert Band. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the singing of the National Anthem.
Please be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce you to the 16th president of the College of New Jersey, Dr. Katherine Foster. Thank you, Dr. Bender. Graduates, trustees, faculty, staff, alumni, parents, family members, and friends. Commencement is a proud moment in the life of a college and a very proud moment and milestone in the lives of our degree candidates. Class of 2020, this celebration in your honor and the degree you will receive today signal a significant achievement. From this day forward, you will have earned something very important and valuable, a degree from the College of New Jersey, one of the finest institutions of public higher education in the nation. Let me begin by showing my amazing grasp of the obvious. This is not the traditional TCNJ commencement. We are not sitting in Lions Stadium with your friends and relatives rocking the bleachers with cheers. Rather, we are gathered in small groups in our homes, watching on live video stream. Nor am I addressing you from a stage surrounded by trustees, your faculty, deans, senior class officers, and the wind ensemble. Rather, although I am wearing my regalia and standing before a podium, I am recording this alone in my home a few miles north of campus. And we will not head together after the ceremony to a reception in Quimby's Prairie. Rather, we will toast the moment in our own way, perhaps with three cheers from family, a virtual high five from distant relatives, and a big slice of graduation cake. Now, I will not suggest that the necessary adjustments to our graduation this year make for a better ceremony than a traditional one. But I will assert that this commencement will be, already is, extraordinary. This atypical graduation reflects determination, grace, grit, and ingenuity. Characteristics, I should say, not only of the many who worked on this production, but of the strong, brave, and persevering class of 2020. We will ever remember this ceremony, this moment, this group. Class of 2020, we love you, we miss you, we care about you, and we congratulate you. Now anyone graduating in 2020 has likely felt the tyranny of that number. 2020 is, of course, a measure of visual acuity. Popular understanding takes 2020 vision to mean that you have perfect eyesight. For example, the phrase hindsight is 2020 means that we look into the past with all-knowing clarity. Yet to see a 2020 is not to have exceptional vision, nor to be all-knowing about the past or the future. Rather, it is to have normal vision. Having 2020 eyesight means that you see at 20 feet the same set of letters that a person with normal vision sees at 20 feet. To have 2020 eyesight is to have good vision, to see clearly, but not to see perfectly. Now I say this to at once humble and relieve you. A contagious virus has disrupted our lives and for many, thrown the near future into uncertainty and disarray. Have you nonetheless felt the pressure to see clearly what will be true for you and the world three or six or 12 months from now? Let me invite you to breathe, class of 2020. At TCNJ, you have readied yourself for the future, whatever it holds. Your attitudes, diligence, reason, and strength will get you to your destination, whether to graduate school, employment, the military, civic service, volunteer adventures, or any other choice you make. Now we are confident of it. Why? Because we have seen you in action. You have brought us your energy, curiosity, and activism. You have made our campus more diverse, accessible, inclusive, honest, and sustainable. You have won prestigious awards. 
You have competed on teams that won championships, and an impressive number of you competitors have been nationally ranked or named All-Americans. You have moved us with your poetry and prose and enhanced our lives with your acting, singing, dancing, art, graphics, comedy, and music. You have contributed significantly in your internships in New Jersey and across the nation and world. You have benefited our region by raising funds, counseling and tutoring youth, organizing events, serving on the front lines of the coronavirus, coaching teams, and donating thousands of volunteer hours for your community. You have been leaders in every walk of college life, from student government, Greek life, and athletics to the 250 cultural, recreational, identity, and special interest clubs and organizations. In short, you have made our campus and communities a better place. Now you shall go forth and do the same in even larger measure wherever you land. Now regardless of what the future holds for you, we hope that TCNJ has been a supportive intellectually challenging and treasured home. We hope you already think of your alma mater with affection and that these feelings will strengthen in the years ahead. We hope that your faculty and staff have been fine guides, that your peers have been inspirational, and that your academic and extracurricular activities, I should say for all but the last eight weeks at least, have brought you opportunity, confidence, and joy. We hope you feel that you have learned and grown and that TCNJ has been there for you. Class of 2020, on behalf of a proud and grateful college, thank you and congratulations. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Michael Marino, professor of history, who was selected by the senior class to bring greetings to the graduates on behalf of our faculty. Hello, I'm Professor Marino, usually known as Mike, and I'm happy to be speaking to you today, even under these difficult circumstances. Best wishes to all the graduates and your families. I know a lot of you are going through some difficult times right now. To anyone watching who has been on the front lines of all this, thank you as well. Welcome to any faculty and staff and to the class of 2020. Please accept my profound gratitude for selecting me as the faculty speaker. It is a great honor and one that I will not soon forget, so uh, thank you. To any HED majors out there who might be watching, uh, you know who you are. I am sorry we are not together today. I do hope we will all see each other again in the future. And please know how much I have valued our relationship and collaboration over the past couple of years. I'm going to miss you all. I don't know exactly who is watching out there in virtual land, but studies show it is very difficult to pay attention to a video for an extended period of time. So I will keep my comments necessarily short. Typically at a commencement, the speeches have one of two themes. They are either inspirational or they provide some advice for the future or some combination of those two things. I personally have never considered myself much of an inspiration and I've also had a lifelong tendency of making the wrong decision, so I will refrain from giving anyone any advice. But I thought what I thought I would do is try to place this moment in historic context because we are definitely living through a historical moment, one that people will be writing about 200 years in the future, and it seems like you will all be graduating into some difficult times, which is certainly disheartening, but what I would suggest is do not lose confidence and do not grow disheartened. There is one characteristic that defines American history, it is crisis. From the Great Depression, to the World Wars, to the inflation of the 1970s, to the political instability of the 2000s, crises recur again and again. Remember that ours is nonetheless a great country and you are the best among us. I know that you will lead the way forward just as other generations have done in the past. This is now my 10th year at TCNJ and I will admit that I didn't know too much about the state when I got to uh, the college 10 years ago. But now having interacted with many young people from New Jersey over the past decade, I've learned that there really, really is a unique and distinct culture here. It's one based on overcoming challenges and crises and also based on a lot of pride and a lot of toughness and a lot of resilience and I know that the state is going to see its way through this and I know that you will all as well. 
I thank you again, and I offer you my best wishes for the future. Take care. Thank you, Dr. Moreno, for your perspective and commitment to the success of our students. You represent today the special and valued connection between faculty and students at TCNJ, one that lasts long beyond this ceremony. It is now my pleasure to introduce the president of the senior class, Justin Lubell. Good afternoon, President Foster, members of the Board of Trustees, esteemed faculty and staff, honored guests, and the greater TCNJ community. On behalf of the Senior Class Council, I want to congratulate the Class of 2020 on your graduation from TCNJ. It has been a long journey. These are certainly not the circumstances we expected to be graduating under, but here we are, a part of history. We have dealt with a considerable number of challenges during our time at TCNJ, yet we have persevered to achieve the goal of graduation. It is important to reflect on our journey and on the people who have played a role in it. Whether it's a professor, an advisor, your friends, classmates, or anyone else in the TCNJ family. It is also important to do some self-reflection. We have all achieved a milestone in our lives. Nothing will ever take this away from us. We will forever be a part of the TCNJ community. And as for the TCNJ community, we show up, we do our jobs, and we do them well. The world is waiting for us. And it's about time we get to show it what we're capable of. This goes for all the majors, all the disciplines, from teachers to computer scientists to artists to engineers. That is TCNJ. That will always be TCNJ. To paraphrase former President John F. Kennedy, we choose to do things not because they are easy, but because they are hard. We seek out challenges with the intent to win. We put our energy towards that which matters. Let us seek out those challenges. Let us make the ideas of tomorrow a reality today. So the next time adversity stares us in the face, we're going to tell it to get out of the way, because we have work to do. It has been an honor to serve as your class president. I will end this speech with two final messages. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lubell, for your encouragement to confront and overcome adversity now and forevermore. Your leadership of this class has been steadfast, and we are so grateful for your service. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Senior Class Vice President of Public Relations, Louis Ferrara, and Class Treasurer, Trevor Baldwin. The past four years at the College of New Jersey have been a remarkable experience for not only myself, but for the entire class of 2020. TCNJ has taught us many life lessons and has truly prepared us for our future academic pursuits, professional careers, and the many challenges that life will present. Our class has certainly left a lasting legacy on the TCNJ community with our continuous accomplishments, contributions, and service. As a thank you for everything provided to us, I am proud to announce that the class of 2020, in an effort to give back to the community, have purchased and will be in the process of installing two solar-powered tables equipped with built-in charging stations outside of the Broward Student Center. This area will serve as a place for students to congregate, socialize, and work diligently on assignments. Due to unfortunate circumstances, we were unable to move forward with our council's plans for the class of 2020 senior send-off. Therefore, we are using our funds to make this year's homecoming even more special in hopes of reuniting our class at a time-honored TCNJ tradition. In addition, we have decided to direct the remainder of our funds to the Lions Lifting Lions Fund, used to support students who are met with unexpected financial hardship. Lastly, I would like to thank our staff, faculty, administration, and more importantly, our family and loved ones for supporting us and providing us with the opportunity to take this next step in our journey of life. Thank you, Mr. Ferrara and Mr. Baldwin. Your generosity to those in need and your forethought around the solar power tables have yielded marvelous and much appreciated gifts. They will remind future generations of students how important it is to support each other during difficult, extraordinary circumstances and to be sustainable and responsible for our environment. Thank you for contributions that strengthen your ties here and remind us that the fate of our individual students and our college are closely intertwined. Thank you, President Foster. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Senior Class Vice President of Operations, Liana Doley, Secretary, Sabrina Mazare, and Alumni Association President, Peter Simons. On behalf of the Class of 
class of 2020, we happily present our class flag to the Alumni Association. This flag, which we received a convocation just four years ago, is not only a representation of our first gathering as a class, but symbolizes the growth that we have made, both personally and academically. Our experiences at the college have helped prepare us for this day, and this flag now represents the legacy we leave behind. This banner serves as a reminder for the everlasting relationships and lessons that we have been exposed to throughout our time at the college. With this banner, the class of 2020 will have a constant reminder of the experiences and friendships that have come from being a student at TCNJ. May we cherish the years that we have spent here as we head into our futures. Thank you, Leanna and Sabrina. On behalf of the Alumni Association and the 89,000 alumni I represent, I want to congratulate the class of 2020 and officially welcome all of you to membership in the College of New Jersey Alumni Association. Your graduation day marks the end of your time here as an undergraduate or graduate student, but marks the beginning of your time as alumni of this amazing institution. You should all be proud of the tremendous accomplishment of obtaining your degree from TCNJ, and I hope you and all of your loved ones enjoy today's special occasion and celebrate this signature moment in your lives. As you move forward, work hard to be active members of the alumni community, and do not forget to support your alma mater in any way you can. Our alma mater only strengthens by the continued engagement of our alumni community. From this day, you are forever connected to the College of New Jersey, and I know you will want to continue this connection to the college as alumni. Congratulations again to all of you, and I look forward to hearing about all of your future successes. Until then, we'll hold this class banner and look forward to future reunions when you can gather underneath it once again. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Simons, Ms. Doley, and Ms. Mazara. I know the class of 2020 will continue the rich tradition of excellence and support of the college by remaining active members of our community. I salute you once again, a truly outstanding class, the class of 2020. At this time, I am pleased to introduce the College of New Jersey Chorale, conducted by Professor of Music and Director of Choral Activities, John Leonard, as they present The Road Home by Stephen Paulus.
It is now my honor, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, to bestow the first honorary degree this college has awarded since 2006. Dr. Erna Schneider Hoover, I am privileged to commend you today as a recipient of the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. Mathematician, Phi Beta Kappa, educator, pioneer in telecommunications, trustee and board chair of Trenton State College, and daughter of New Jersey, with your lifelong commitment to equity and excellence, you have transformed fields and institutions, including our own. From your upbringing in South Orange, you earned a bachelor's degree in medieval and classical philosophy and history from Wellesley College. A modern day Renaissance woman, you continued your education at Yale University, earning a PhD in mathematics, then a rare achievement for a woman. You began your career as a professor of logic and philosophy at Swarthmore College before returning to New Jersey to supply your intellect and values at Bell Labs. The first woman to be appointed as a technical supervisor at the labs, you led multiple projects from radar surveillance and control systems through early artificial intelligence. You broke ground and glass ceilings in the 1960s and 70s, revolutionizing telecommunications by developing priority switching software to regulate incoming calls during peak hours. For this invention, the principles of which are still in use in modern telecom, you became among the first women to receive a patent for computer software and were later inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame. Throughout your career, you were a champion of quality education for all, with special interest and commitment to advance women in STEM fields. As a member and chair of the Board of Trustees of Trenton State College in the 70s and 80s, you were the chief architect and indomitable advocate for this college becoming the premier public institution in the state. Thanks to your efforts, which included forceful and influential calls to legislators, funders, and not a few members of our campus, Trenton State College, soon renamed the College of New Jersey, built the foundation for its eminence today. Simply put, without you, the college would not have achieved its distinction and merit. You were unconquerable, and this too is your legacy. Dr. Erna Schneider Hoover, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of New Jersey, I have the honor and joy to bestow upon you the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, honoris causa. Congratulations. President Foster, members of the Board of Trustees, new graduates, and welcome guests. Forty years ago, the Board of Trustees of this college chose a radically new direction. It wished to create a model undergraduate college devoted to excellence in discovering and teaching the truth. The board charged President Harold Eikhoff with the task of leading the college toward achieving this goal. As a, as a result, the college gave to the people of New Jersey a new option in undergraduate education, an affordable public co college devoted to excellence. To all the students, faculty, and administrators who over 40 years worked toward this goal, and who are still doing so today, I want to thank you. President Foster and members of the Board of Trustees, thank you for acknowledging my ro role in this endeavor and for granting me this high honor. It is now my pleasure to ask Interim Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, William Keep, to introduce the Dean of each school 
to present the candidates for degrees. Thank you, Dr. Foster. Each dean will be asked to present undergraduate candidates for degrees. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, the president will officially confer the degrees. The movement of the undergraduate candidate's tassel from the right to the left is a symbolic gesture of the conferral of the degree. Candidates for graduate degrees already hold baccalaureate degrees and their tassels should already be placed to the left. While we would have preferred to conduct this ceremony in person, we hope that you are experiencing this ceremony donned in your academic regalia surrounded by those closest to you. When your dean asks that you rise, please do so and celebrate this achievement. The candidates from the School of Arts and Communication will be presented by their dean, Dr. Maurice Hall. Thank you, Provost Keep. Will the candidates from the School of the Arts and Communication for the Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, and Bachelor of Music degrees please stand. Provost Keep and President Foster, the candidates from the School of the Arts and Communication, whose names appear on the printed program and who have successfully met the requirements for the Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, and Bachelor of Music degrees are hereby certified by the faculty for the receipt of their degrees. Candidates for the Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, and Bachelor of Music degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of New Jersey, and in recognition of your attainments in completing the requirements, I confer upon each of you the degree which you have earned and admit you to all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. You may move your tassels from right to left as a symbol of your accomplishment. Congratulations. The candidates from the School of Business will be presented by their interim dean, Dr. Borgina Levin. Thank you, Provost Keep. Will the candidates from the School of Business for the Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science please stand? Provost Keep and President Foster, the candidates from the School of Business whose names appear on the printed program who have successfully met the requirements for the Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees are hereby certified by the faculty for the receipt of their degrees. Candidates for the Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of New Jersey, and in recognition of your attainments in completing the requirements, I now confer upon you the degree which you have earned and admit you to all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. You may move your tassels from right to left as a symbol of your accomplishment. Congratulations. The candidates from the School of Education will be presented by their Dean, Dr. Suzanne McCotter. Thank you, Provost Keep. Will the candidates from the School of Education for the Bachelor of Science degree and the Certificate of Completion for the Career and Community Studies program please stand? Provost Keep and President Foster, the candidates from the School of Education whose names appear on the printed program and who have successfully met the requirements for the Bachelor of Science degree and the Certificate of Completion for the Career and Community Studies program are hereby certified by the faculty for the receipt of their degrees and certificates. Candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree and the Certificate of Completion for the Career and Community Studies program. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of New Jersey, and in recognition of your attainments in completing the requirements, I confer upon each of you the degree or certificate which you have earned 
and admit you to all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. You may move your tassels from right to left as a symbol of your accomplishment. Congratulations. The candidates from the School of Engineering will be presented by their dean, Dr. Steven Schreiner. Thank you, Provost Keep. Will the candidates from the School of Engineering for the Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science in Engineering Science, Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering, and Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering degrees, please stand. Provost Keep and President Foster, the candidates from the School of Engineering whose names appear in the printed program and who have successfully met the requirements for Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science in Engineering Science, Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering, and Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering degrees are hereby certified by the faculty for the receipt of their degrees. Candidates for the Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science in Engineering Science, Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering, and Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of New Jersey, and in recognition of your attainments in completing the requirements, I confer upon each of you the degree which you have earned and admit you to all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. You may move your tassels from right to left as a symbol of your accomplishment. Congratulations. The candidates from the School of Humanities and Social Sciences will be presented by their dean, Dr. Jane Wong. Thank you, Provost Keep. Will the candidates from the School of Humanities and Social Sciences for the Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees please stand? Provost Keep and President Foster, the candidates from the School of Humanities and Social Sciences whose names appear on the printed program and who have successfully met the requirements for the Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees are hereby certified by the faculty for the receipt of their degrees. Candidates for the Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of New Jersey and in recognition of your attainments in completing the requirements, I confer upon each of you the degree which you have earned and admit you to all the rights privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. You may move your tassels from right to left as a symbol of your accomplishment. Congratulations. The candidates from the School of Nursing, Health, and Exercise Science will be presented by their dean, Dr. Carol Kenner. Thank you, Provost Keep. Will the candidates from the School of Nursing Health and Exercise Science for the Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Science in Nursing degrees, please stand. Provost Keep and President Foster, the candidates from the School of Nursing Health and Exercise Science, whose names appear on the printed program and who have successfully met the requirements for the Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Science in Nursing degrees, are hereby certified by the faculty for receipt of their degrees. Candidates for the Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Science in Nursing degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of New Jersey, and in recognition of your attainments in completing the requirements, I confer upon each of you the degree which you have earned and admit you to all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. You may move your tassels from right to left as a symbol of your accomplishment. Congratulations.
the candidates from the School of Science will be presented by their dean, Dr. Jeffrey Osborne. Thank you, Provost Keep. Will the candidates from the School of Science for the Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Arts degrees please stand? Provost Keep and President Foster, the candidates from the School of Science whose names appear on the printed program and who have successfully met the requirements for the Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Arts degrees are hereby certified by the faculty for the receipt of their degrees. Candidates for the Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Arts degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of New Jersey and in recognition of your attainments in completing the requirements, I confer upon each of you the degree which you have earned and admit you to all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. You may move your tassels from right to left as a symbol of your accomplishment. Congratulations. The candidates for graduate degrees will be presented by Vice Provost Dr. Tim Clydesdale. Will the candidates for educational specialists, Master of Arts, Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Education, Master of Public Health, and Master of Science in Nursing degrees please rise. Provost Keep and President Foster, the candidates whose names appear on the printed program and who have successfully met the requirements for Educational Specialists, Master of Arts, Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Education, Master of Public Health, and Master of Science in Nursing degrees are hereby certified by the faculty for the receipt of their degrees. Candidates for the Educational Specialist, Master of Arts, Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Education, Master of Public Health, and Master of Science in Nursing. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of New Jersey, and in recognition of your attainments in completing the requirements, I confer upon each of you the degree which you have earned and admit you to all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. Congratulations. We have now officially conferred the degrees. Please join me in giving all of the new graduates a rousing round of applause. Before we conclude our commencement exercises for the class of 2020, there is one last thanks to give. Graduates, this is your achievement, but it very likely came with abundant support and encouragement. Will all the family members, friends, and loved ones who are celebrating today with a graduate, please stand if you are able. Graduates, whether your loved ones are with you today or not, please rise, turn, and give those standing nearby and in venues afar a much deserved round of thanks and appreciation. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the singing of the alma mater led by members of the class of 2020, Monica Alvarado, Angelina Francesi, and Maura McFadden, and accompanied by the TCNJ Wind Ensemble and Concert Band.
graduates, trustees, faculty, staff, alumni, parents, family members, and friends the world over. Your presence with us today is a testament to your commitment and loyalty to the College of New Jersey. Thank you for all you do today and every day to make us proud. I now close the 2020 commencement ceremony of the College of New Jersey. Until we meet again in person, and we shall meet again in person, I wish all a healthy and happy post-ceremony celebration. Congratulations once again.
Christ. Christ.